Hi guys and welcome to today's video. If I sound a bit strange, I'm sorry but I'm a bit sick uh, because of the cold weather in Denmark right now. But uh, let's just get to it. Uh, as you probably can tell, I am doing a how-to uh, plate carrier storage cross or whatever you can say. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like on a picture. But um, right now I'll just show you the um, lengths of the planks that you need to make this or what I decided. You can decide to do it in your own lengths. I decided to make them a bit long so I would have the possibility of putting uh, my boots underneath the plate carrier. But also I will, it's just a good thing to you know uh, have more length than less. I don't want my plate carrier to scrape the bottom of the whatever I put it on either so uh, but you decide also the uh, the foot itself or whatever you call it the stand the base of it uh, you can decide whether or how long you actually want the planks there I decided to have them at this length it's a bit big but then I'm pretty sure that uh, it's gonna hold the um, the plate carrier but uh, I'll just show you what I actually have done and I'll tell you about what I'm actually doing throughout this uh, process, uh, process here. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and just let's get started. Uh, so first I started out with uh, sawing off the uh, pieces for the foot or the base of it. Um, which I just think is a good place to start it out. So I just used a ruler, a big ruler, and you know, draw it up with a pencil the spots, uh, the marks that I needed to cut for. And um, I just started sawing. So nothing special there. I'll just fast forward to the next bit. Do keep in mind that I am by no means a professional at this. So now we are starting to putting the pieces together. I like to have a small piece of the wood that will replicate the thickness of the um, the spine <laughs> plate, uh, whatever you call it, but you know the vertical one. Uh, just so you know that it won't get too tight or it won't get too wide from each other. So do that. That's really good. And first, you'll see me drilling some holes in the sides, so it will be easier to put in the screws, and also. I'm not sure if you can see this on the video, but the screws I do have in the mouth when I'm ready to screw them. And this is because when you actually, you know, get some uh, spit on them, they draw way better. Something my dad told me, and was taught by his dad, and it works really well. So nothing there, I just put two screws in each, each plank, uh, making the base of it. So now I am done with the base of it and we can move forward to the cross of the build. So by now you need to figure out at what uh, length or what height you want the, uh, the arms of the cross. So you just need to figure out by yourself um, what length you actually want. Also considering maybe if you want a helmet on it. Uh, so have the plate carrier out and the helmet or whatever you want to put on the top of it if you want to put anything there just to have an idea you know also you need to test if the pole actually fits into the base of it 
So what you'll see me now is just measuring out where I need to cut uh, the wood piece so I can put this inside. Um, the process of this is that you do cut, you, you make the marks and you find the halfway point of uh, or the two uh, halfway points of the uh, the arms of it and you need to uh, cut it so it will fit inside the vertical plank and after that you need to um, cut halfway into both pieces where you drew it with a pencil that you needed to cut as you can see I'm doing right now and you'll use uh, I have no idea what the tool is called but it's something that you can hammer into the wood and you can break off pieces of the wood when you have cut down on the sides of it As you can see the camera angle just moved to a better spot, but this was actually just because of the luck, uh, or you can call it. It's not really luck because the SD card actually ran out of storage space, so I had to put in a new one. And luckily I just put it in a better angle after that. When you believe the pieces fit together nicely, put into screws, there is no need to drill first, and you actually got your cross. One last thing that you don't need to do, but I did anyways because of safety measures and because I could, it doesn't take that much time, just put in a screw in each side so, you, so it will hold the actual cross to the base of it uh, which I think will uh, be very beneficial for you uh, if it ever would if you didn't do it and it would ever come loose or something I can't tell you if it would um, so now you're actually done with the cross and after that I decided to sand it uh, the cross to remove the sharp edges around it and making it a bit more nice. You could also apply some tree oil or something like that, wood oil. I don't know what it's called in English precisely, but translated it's tree or wood oil. So, you know, you just put on some oil to make it a nice finish. You could also paint it if you want to, but I just want the normal wood uh, look for it. So that was actually it guys, maybe it was a bit long for you, but I tried to get as much information out as fastly as possible. I'm not sure if there's an actual word called fastly, who cares, <laughs> um, but yeah you get the idea, I really hope that this helped you out because I thought it was a very good idea, I saw some guys on Instagram do this. But I had actually, you know, I couldn't really find a video on YouTube about it, so I thought that maybe I should do one to show you my take on it. Um, and I hope that, well, tell me if you if you've done if you're going to do this and how it actually went. It's a pretty easy process. I think this took me about 45 minutes, and I did three of them for all three plate carriers that I do have at the moment. Um, as you, as you actually saw in the first part of the uh, video where I showed you how it actually looked. Uh, you can see that's a part of the armory but I'll show you that in a later video. I'll probably do it as a subscriber special at some point in the future. 
wink wink go ahead and subscribe uh, also like this video if you did enjoy it and find it informative comment if you have any questions below I hope that I uh, thoroughly um, uh, told you about all of this uh, so there won't be any questions about this but if you do have any please do tell me and I can maybe write it in a video or something but also if you have any ideas for my channel please send me a private message remember to share my videos and go ahead and check out my older videos since I do think that you can find a lot of enjoyment for th from those as well so that was it guys uh, have a nice day holiday if you still have it mine just uh, ended but you know see you guys